that this vulgar display of fortune remained undisturbed was a testament of fear's dominion over greed. <laughs> through the gauze of their clothing, yet beauty such as theirs delivered only death. For these were Volador's pets, nothing more than beasts, slaves to his will and the easy prey he provided. Vampires, all of them, held in thrall by one stronger still. Car. Well, apparently I was supposed to do something else. Just modify my magic a bit. Antitoxin. Repel. Control mind. Stun. Incapacitate. Blood gout. Slaughter. Men and women dangled from the rusted hooks upon the dungeon walls. Blood and viscera frosted the dirt and stone. The abundance nearly overwhelmed me. For blood is the life. Oh, I get new armor. vicious, and the Chaos Armor extracts from them a heavy price for their bloodlust. The blows are meant for me, but it is their bodies that carry the wounds. Chaos Armor? Intriguing. Chaos Armor. Oh, I like that. Oh. <laughs> 
This is a good opportunity for me to just beat the hell out of him and um, conserve magic. Someone that needs two blood gouts in order to kill it sure doesn't offer a whole lot of blood. She, I should say. since I went to this forum. It's 
not terribly expensive to use. That's a, that's a good one. The room I had entered had but one purpose. The torture and execution of human beings for the sadistic pleasure of its engineer. Blood was splattered on every surface. The dread and agony of victims' past still echoed through the lethal walls. A symphony of terror and agony filled the air. Then, from amidst the cacophony of screaming souls, came the perverse laughter of the vampire himself. Amongst Vorador's possessions, I found an ancient chronicle. Long ago, vampires grew in such number so as to capture the attention of the circle. The Order of the Saracen, or the Angels of Light, as they were called, was instated to counter the menace. Thus, the Vampire Purge began. Tapestries wove a tale of chaos ignited, an orgy of fire and pain. Undead beings with rotted skins caked with sulfur and ash beckoned at me through a burning abyss. Their tortured stares were a testimonial to the price of weakness. Their fate would not find me, yet blood calls to blood. <laughs> In the bowels of that black forest, I found something worse than hell. A vision of what I was becoming. It's not often I see one of our own, especially one as young and foolish as yourself. Nonetheless, drink. Drink deep and indulge your gift. Gift? Borodor thought my curse a blessing. 
gods, that mortals offered their blood as sacrifice so that we could enjoy our supernatural powers. And somewhere, deep inside my own self, I knew that he was right. That mortal dreams were prayers, prayers to us, begging us for power. I pondered this as the decadent old fool prattled on about his Gorish account of how he defeated Malek of the Saracen and took his vengeance upon the Circle of Nine for supporting the Saracen Holy War to exterminate. on your corpses! Instead, our kind has not bothered with you, except to be. And I suggest you do so. Meddling with the affairs of man do us no good. Seraphan witch hunts are much easier to concern ourselves with. Am I understood, Cain? Good. Take this. gone. Huh. Well, I stopped to pick it up. My visit with Voyager only strengthened my resolve. His power uncontested by mortals, he had fallen to another enemy. Decadence has claimed itself many a great warrior. So... What? Vorador's signet ring. Turning the ring over in my hands, I realized that it was crafted from some strange alloy formed from broken teeth, ground down and soaked in blood. Hmm. I guess it's just like Nup Raptor's head. Outside, isn't it? Uh, not quite yet. Uh, now it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 